In this tutorial, I show how to cut round the upright bars when reupholstering the arms and seat of this particular chair. Different chairs will alter in design, but this will give you a basic guide. I'll leave links in the description and at the end of this video for the full reupholstery of this chair. The first thing you can do when stripping down the chair is take a good look at the pieces as they come off. Also make a note, take photos of how pieces are pulled through the frame of the chair and attached to the frame. When you cut out your new pattern pieces, make absolutely sure that you've allowed more than you take off because uh, the pattern pieces that come off the chair, the upholsterer will have cut those down to the level almost with the staples. So you need to allow, especially if you're new to this, at least four inches all the way around. And I quite often just cut a rectangle or a square um, and then cut the pieces on the chair as I go, because you need a good bit to hang on to and to make absolutely sure you've got enough to cut and turn around and pull around those legs. I've attached the inside arm fabric to the chair and I'm ready to cut around the front arm bar. Use the original piece you took off as a guide to how and where to make your cuts. Now I can see that they've made one cut here. The reason for that is we, we have to get around this piece of wood to be able to pull the fabric here. On some chairs, you'll only find a single upright bar and you would make one cut and then you would cut a V so the V tucks down and the two sides will pull around either side of that piece of wood. So if I look at my pattern, I can see that this piece of wood is sort of running up the middle of this blue stripe. So all I have to do is cut up the middle of this blue stripe. So again, you have to gauge how far away your piece of wood is. So I'm going to cut about halfway across here. I can then try it and I can come back and um, do it again if it doesn't fit down. Now I can't fix the fabric in place underneath until I've also pulled the back end of the arm fabric down. So as well as cutting the fabric into place around the upright bar at the front, make sure the fabric is smoothed into place and sits straight. And then we need to cut and fit the back into place around the back bar so we can fix everything down together. I'm now going to be using this tool, which is called a regulator. It's like a long needle that is used quite a lot for various different things in traditional upholstery but where this is all smoothed down and I can I can feel from the back where um, the fabric is touching the wood so where the center of that piece of wood is and I can feel it as I said from the back I'm going to put this regulator through okay and then I'm pulling everything back up and I've got a mark where that wood is gonna uh, touch the joint so my next thing to do now we have that hole is to cut to it so again on the diagonal but i'm not going right up to it because i'm going to cut make it like a triangle okay so that i can fold that back and then this piece will sit around that piece of wood and I can pull those both sides to get that really tight. So a lot of tucking in. And if we look on the back, you can see how that just comes through there. And that um, little triangle that I've cut is gonna sit really nicely around there. My next thing to do is pull the other side down. So let's get that bit down next. All I need to do now is just staple this bit up to up here and then the side as well. Skipping forward to the seat, I'm going to quickly run through this as I will pull through and fix the arm and seat fabric around the front upright bar at the same time. As with the arms, use the fabric you took off the seat as a pattern piece and have a good look at how they cut 
round for the bars. As before, this has been cut down on the chair, so allow plenty of fabric so you can cut yours to shape as you go along. Having got the seat fabric in place, find the upright bar at the back corner. Keeping the fabric firmly in place, use the regulator to mark against one side of the bar and pull the fabric back to find the hole you've made. You then make a second mark for the other side of the bar and again cut to a little before the two marks and then cut out to the marks to form a V and fold the V back and pull the fabric through as you did for the arms. To work the seat fabric round the front upright bar, I've stapled to about six inches from the corner so I can still manoeuvre the front side of the fabric. I'm now going to cut the side with the regulator again as before, just one cut down to this uh, point. And because the bar is so wide, I'm just going to ease around this front corner and pull the long cut of the fabric through to the underside of the chair as I did with the arm. Now it's a good idea to have a look at your um, pattern piece on this one and you can see where they, they've cut in this one pulls down underneath and here they've just made these um, zigzag cuts because we need to straighten that out to get it around this fold. Now if you look on this side you can see how I've cut. So this bit will pull through. I've then started to make some cuts into um, the side to ease it round here. Be very careful that you don't cut too much. And then if you come around this side, again, everything's going to be pulled underneath. I've got the side through. Now I'm going to trim this bit off. So the side is through. And the, the long piece that you saw has come through underneath. And I've made my snips as I had on the other side and everything's going to smooth. Keep, you need to keep this bit fairly straight. It's very easy to think, pull it back, but it looks better if it's straight. And then we're going to make this fold on the corner. And the edge of it is going to fold across here because the piping will come and sit where the foam is down here. And the front platform will come across here. And as I say, if you get like a wrinkly bit, then you might need to put another little cut in. But be really careful that when you've got everything where you want it, that you're not going to see those cuts because that's ruined your chair. OK, so just cut a little bit, try it, cut again. So just take a close up on this side where I've come around and pulled everything smooth. I've made my little snips in here. You can see just to ease everything around and I'm tucking that down sort of inside under the foam. I can then pull around and this will come over the top and down making a nice neat join here. And I'm now going to finish stapling this down and then make the corner. And you can just um, take a look at the side where I've stapled everything down. I sort of pulled it this way, pulled it up, pulled it out, and then stapled it and trimmed it. Finally, I'm going to staple these cuts to the underside of the frame with staples to hold them firmly in place. If you found this tutorial useful and would like to see more videos on soft furnishing and rear upholstery, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I make more videos. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project.